Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and in today's episode we will review every single Constructor Con that combines into Devastator that I have. So, let's get into it. So as you know, Devastator is one of the few strong Decepticon combiners who always goes into important battles because of his size and strength. And he never lost, but in Revenge of the Fallen, where he destroyed a uh, pyramid in Egypt to reveal the Energon Harvester, the humans shot him with their rail gun. And that's what Devastator did. So what I have here are the original team. We have the original Devastator. Hello, I'm the original Devastator. And you got all of those. We got the Studio Series, aka the AOE Mech. I have the AO Mech version. And here we have the Devil Savior version. The very movie accurate version. And here we have the MT version. Which is the oversized version of the small itty bitty Studio Series versions. Now we're going to see how each batch of figures compare in their individual look and in their combined mode. So we're going to start with the original figures, the oldest Revenge of the Fallen Devastator figures that I have. Now we're going to talk about size accuracy for the original figures. So here we have these three. These are the individual figures. They can be compared with the uh, Studio Series versions, aka the AI Mech versions. They can be compared, but he's supposed to be a little bit bigger. And it is not that accurate. See, long out right here is yellow. He's supposed to be green. And the paint schemes are not that accurate. And we come to quality. Quality, the plastic is very strong, but the joints are very flappy. That's a problem. And they're very overpriced, and you don't get what you paid for. Moving right along, here we have the AOE Mech version, which I'm still collecting. So, you can compare the size with the original release, those three. And the MT is, of course, much bigger, and the Devil's Savior is much bigger. Okay? Uh, Accuracy-wise, it is very accurate. It has the same design to the Studio Series version, which is a bit too pricey. That's why I got the AI Mech version. Now we're going to talk about the paint. The paint is, of course, fantastic. Much better than the original Studio Series version. But you can find some places which are not painted, like, for example, up here above Longo's head. That's a problem. The quality is fantastic. The plastic doesn't tend to break. The joints are easily movable. That's good. And I bought the IOM Mac version because they're not too overpriced. And the paint is fantastic. Moving right, right along, here we have the Devil Safer version. The most movie accurate version. The size, maybe you can compare it with the MT versions when you get the whole set. Um, if you compare long haul with other long haul, uh, this is a little bit big. Okay, that's it for size. Oh no, it's about to fall. Now we're going to talk about accuracy. They have a completely original design, not copying any company, with fantastic paint, like you see here, sand and rust. That is awesome. And for quality, the plastic does not tend to break, but they're very, um, what do you call it again? Fragile, and the joints are very stiff and strong. These are probably the best figures you will get of Devastator. And last but not least, the general please, MT versions, the largest versions, even larger than these. And they have the same design to the Studio Series and the AOE Mech version, of course, but you get great paint. See this, where it's supposed to be black on long haul, it's painted, which is great. And you have lots of decals, and the paint shows you every single detail, which is insane. For quality, the plastic does not tend to break. It's so strong. And the joints are very stiff, which is a kind of problem for me because I'm not that strong. Okay? You got that out of the way. And they're not that expensive. Not even as expensive as these. These are a lot of, they are very 
expensive. And you get what you paid for, which is the greatest feeling you'll ever have. So before we end the episode, in other episodes, we will compare and review every, sing every single figure together. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the not notification bell so you can know whenever I make a video. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Time to combine into Devastator. <laughs>